Hello, it's Mrs P from Mr P and his wee wifey .co .uk. We're working our way towards retirement, one pay packet at a time. We'd love you to join us on the journey. So kindly click subscribe and click that little bell so that you don't miss any of our new videos. We post videos Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 6pm UK time. Um, but we've had a discussion this morning about basics, the basics of budgeting. Have we got it right? We've rewatched the Budget Mums videos to get some inspiration. And I wanted to just chat to you about wh where do you even start? Why are you budgeting? Um, I think sometimes when we hear the word budget, we think deprivation. Oh, I'm not going to be able to do this. I'll not be able to get my hair done. I'll not be able to go out for dinner. And that's not actually what it's about. What budgeting is about for us is just working our way to financial health to allow us to retire. So I use the Budget by Paycheck printable workbook from the Budget Mum. Um, I think that there's no point in reinventing the wheel. I bought the printable version two years ago and have been using it ever since. So on this Budget by Paycheck, this is the Budget by Paycheck budget, paycheck budget tracker form as a blank. So you have a place for your income, both budgeted and actual. Then you've got a place for your bills. So for me, those bills are our direct debits. So um, things like um, rent, insurance, um, our sky, our phones, things that we pay by direct debit that are more or less the same every month. Then you move forward to your envelopes. Now, although we use cashless envelopes, we do still allot um, a, an amount to each envelope for spending. And we have not got that right yet. So we're working on that. Then you move on to sinking funds. So you've got your actual salary. You've taken care of your bills. You've taken ca care of your cash envelopes. So perhaps your grocery, um, fuel for your car, um, your self-care. Um, we have a pet envelope. Those are all taken care of here. And then you're going to move forward to your sinking funds. What is the one expense every year that can trip you up? Happens every year. How many of you, how many of us are actually prepared for December, for Christmas? Um, or for whatever whatever your particular celebration is, how many of us are financially prepared? So by creating even one sinking fund for Christmas and saving, say, £50 a month, you're going to have £600 to spend on Christmas. Our budget for Christmas is £1,000, but that includes absolutely everything. That includes gifts. That includes Christmas dinner, which we always do. That includes um, if we buy any, if we're having a party, it includes those expenses, any decorations, absolutely everything comes under that budget. And we do try and keep below that £1,000. We have three children and we have four grandchildren. So, uh, and my mother-in-law is still with us. So that those are the people that we generally buy for. As a family, as an extended family, we don't buy gifts for each other. We stopped that many years ago because I would buy for my gr brother's grandchildren. He would buy for my grandchildren and it all got to be a little bit redundant. So I spend £10 on your grandchild. You spend £10 on my grandchild. Why do I not just buy my grandchild what I know they want? So that's what we agreed as a family. My uh, Mr P is an only child. So he ha I have one brother and one sister. And as I say, we do not buy for each other. We don't buy for any of the children. We don't buy for any of the grandchildren. Our Christmas is focused on the children rather than the adults. Um, so and our children have had their, their day in the sun where it was all about them. And that is why Mr P and I do not buy each other anything for Christmas. We don't buy for birthdays. We don't buy for Valentine's Day, wedding anniversaries. 
nothing like that we never have because when we got together and had the children we just didn't have the money so we've never started it so we don't even buy a card that's how strict we are because we would rather focus on our children and our grandchildren let's face it if if i want a bottle of perfume i'll buy a bottle of perfume if uh, Mr P wants a pair of trainers. We'll buy a pair of trainers if it's in our budget to do so. But we don't buy each other gifts. I know this is foreign to a lot of people, um, but it's something that's worked for us and has worked for us for over 30 years. We just don't think about it. So people say, what did your husband get you for Christmas? And I'll say, nothing. We don't. It's not that we don't celebrate, because we do celebrate. But we don't have to buy, we don't feel we need to buy each other a gift. As I say, we didn't have the money at the beginning of our relationship, so we just never started it. We have been living on a budget for over 30 years. And although we have more wiggle room than we had at the beginning, now that we're empty nesters and moving forward to retirement, we still like to focus on, we like our holidays. We like our um, night away. We may only stay in a Premier Inn. We booked a Premier Inn for March, £45. But for us, that's a real treat. We'll go and we'll enjoy that. So an example of using these budget sheets and the expense tracker. Um, if we look at, this is um, a budget for, um, using um, my husband being paid, but Mr P being paid two weekly, giving us a balance of 1536 so we would first pay all our direct debits. We do move money into a separate account for our house. We do our thrift. My spending money, my husband's spending money, our Monzo and national insurance savings. We then take care of our cash envelopes. We've amended our fuel to 120. We've amended our eating out to 70. These are still not correct, but I think until you have the actual figures, the data, um, whatever, for say three months, you're not going to get this right. Because I would love our grocery budget to be £100 for two weeks, but that's just not going to happen. And I think sometimes you just have to accept and embrace and move forward. So your figures need to be realistic. So tracking is very, very important. We then take care of our sinking funds. We have three regular sinking funds, our pet, our self-care and our gift that we do every two weeks. And then any balance, we would then we would then decide what we wanted to do with that. Have you got debt that you need to pay? Is that where your balance want, any extra wants to go? Are you saving for a holiday? Have you got a new grandchild coming? I've got a new baby coming. Um, you know, everyone's everyone's budget is completely different. A budget is the one thing that is absolutely personal to you and your family situation. Our budget's not going to work for you. Your budget may not work for me, but it's it's about learning together, moving forward the journey together towards some financial security. I hope that was helpful. Um, it's something that we'll be revisiting as we go through the weeks and months. We budget um, once a month and every two weeks. So we do three budgets a month and we do sit down together and do the budget. Uh, Mr P was not always on board. He did not always embrace the whole budget process. He's not a figures man. Um, I'm the nerd. I'm the figures person. Um, and he's not. Um, so together we make a good team. Thank you very much for joining me today. If you think this would be useful to somebody, please share it. Love to hear your comments in the comments below. So thank you very much for joining me. Take care of you and yours until we speak again. Goodbye. <laughs>